Hi, and welcome to Text Nation TV. It's all about small iPads, large cell phones, Google all up in your face, and somebody's in your Mac. Hi, and welcome to Text Nation TV. This is episode number 35. My name is Rusty G. I'm Alan. And like I said, uh, big cell phones, well, actually, kind of medium cell phones according to the Galaxy Note, because that big thing, yeah, that thing's huge. You want one of those, don't you? I do. Have you played with one yet? I have, and the reason why I want it is the iPhone is thin, right? but the Note is thinner. Oh, really? Yeah. I haven't messed with it yet, because I've messed with the Droid Razor Max and the Droid Razor. Those are really thin phones as well, mm -hmm. which, matter of fact, I actually talked a friend of mine into buying a Razor Max versus the Droid Razor because of the whole battery thing, so he bought one. Also, it's so big that you gotta have adult hands to use it. So, you know when you walk down the street, you see a little kid with an iPhone, he's like, <laughs> snatch it and smack the mom. You, you know what they're calling those things now, though? What? You know what they're calling this, the Galaxy Tab? Hmm. Or not the Tab, I'm sorry, the Galaxy Note? A phablet. They're calling it a phablet because it's, it's a cross between a phone and a tablet. It's not exactly small enough for a phone. Mine will be a tone. This guy, not a not not a phablet. Anyway, so moving past that that phone, that's not the one that we want to talk about. Sprint today actually released the HTC Evo 4G LTE, and that's the only thing that's different from the previous Evo because it was Evo 4G before, and technically it's the new HTC S Sprint LTE. Yeah, Sprint LTE, exactly. So this phone was already created, pretty much. They. Yeah. They already knew. Exactly. So when we told you, you know, last week about Sprint dropping WiMAX, mm -hmm. yeah, it was in the plans. It was pretty much in the plans. Uh, this is HTC's new handset that's going to be dropping sometime in quarter two. We don't know when. The fun part about it is, though, you can go ahead and pre-order coming up May 7th. You can go ahead and start that pre-order. Yeah, throw Sprint two, $300. Why not? Exactly. And the great thing about it is... They don't know when they're going to release it, so we don't know when you're going to get it. <laughs> so basically, enough people pre-order it, they can make it. Eggs. <laughs> and pay for those LTE towers. Because <laughs> they didn't get any AT&T money like T-Mobile did. So <laughs> The good thing about it, though, if is... If you pre-order this phone, we can have this phone. <laughs> exactly. The cool, the cool thing about it is, though, they're bringing HD voice yeah. uh, to the phone, which is supposed to be higher quality audio. Have I heard this? No. Do I have any idea what it's like? No. But what I can Initiative. say, I can say Viber. something very similar is Viber, which is it's a little bit different because it's voice over IP kind of style. But the thing is, voice over LTE, which is V-O-L-T-E's Volt, basically, yeah. uh, where internet is V-O-I-P, uh, will it be the same? I don't know, because Sprint always wants to go something separate. Back in the day, it was PCS. Yes. So they did their own thing with that. You know, and then they did Nextel, where they bought out Nextel. And they've always been that company that wants to be off on the side doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. So they're not going to go with VOLT, which is probably what ends up going to be in for AT&T, their 4G, Verizon's 4G, so that you get a better call quality. Because right now, 3G pretty much sucks for making a phone call. Mm -hmm. Drops out, whatever. It sounds like you're on a cell phone. It's horrible. So, you know, good luck on this phone, HTC, because HTC, that is the only Android-based phone that I will ever buy. Maybe a Motorola Droid, because I just got through messing with one at work. It's not bad, but I just, mm -hmm. I just like the design quality of how HTC makes their phones. Well, it has to be that Droid Max. The Razor Max, yeah. That gets 21, yeah. yeah, exactly, 21 hours for 4G talk time, so... That's that's uh, pretty much what Sprint had to talk about today. It's their first handset into the LTE market. Yeah. So, yeah, like you said, last week's announcement about WiMAX. Like, hey, guess what? Remember that was, like, years ago when it was last week? <laughs> we dropped that. Yeah, we're on LTE now, so either way. Also the news is Google Glass, which I keep calling it Google Goggles because you wear them on your eyes. <laughs> I love it. So... They released this little video that's pretty much gone viral now. Yeah. More views than our show does, anyway. <laughs> of where they want people to wear them, and it'd be, according to the picture, it's like a little pane of glass right here, and yeah. it'll tell you, hey, you know, 
subway's closed. Here's a new way. Here's a new route. Right. Wait, so, a new route. Yeah, it said walk. Yeah, here's you know here's how to get there by walking. Oh, the subway. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm thinking the food place subway. I've been eating subway a lot. Sorry. <laughs> subway's closed. Here's how to get to Blimpy. Right. <laughs> you got the idea. <laughs> uh, this isn't a good idea. I'm sorry. Um, I, you know, I'm all about advancement. Right. I'm very easily distracted. <laughs> Walking, driving. I need something else right here. On top of what you're already doing? My yeah. car already has a 7-inch screen that screams <laughs> at me. <laughs> There's... The video that Google puts out is not exactly the video that I believe Tim Scott or Tom Scott or somebody put out. Yeah, he showed video. the reality of what will happen. <laughs> is that you're walking down the road and, hey, you know, this popped up. Hey, you know, like Rusty sent me like a text or something. And, you know, if Rusty has a lot to say that day. <laughs> it takes up the whole screen. It takes up the whole screen and bam, you know, you run into a pole or... You hit by car or run to a person. Uh, good idea. Yeah, but uh, I'd rather have a flying car. I Yeah, th speaking of, this was kind of cool. The flying car thing, have you seen this yet? I've they, seen a couple. Yeah, New York had a big event today with cars. And not, oh, they, the New York Auto Show. Yeah, also. not all of you are big car car geeks, but oh my God, I almost cried. They're, one, they're releasing two different flying cars. There's one with wings that fold out, which is kind of cool. A white one looks like an airplane, looks like a single-engine Cessna. Yeah, I think it's called the Transition. And then there's the one that looks like a helicopter mm -hmm. that has the blade that folds back and the tail that comes in, and it, it, it flies like a helicopter. So two different new flying cars that are out there and they're being released. I'm sure there's hundreds more, but those were the two that were being talked about at the New York Auto Show. And then also they brought back my love of my life. SRT, thank you very much for this. The Dodge, well, can't say that. The SRT Viper, the 2013 Viper. <gasps> Make my heart melt. I, I'm, I'm back to loving the Viper again. But either way, so, sorry. So, uh, <laughs> you give Rusty a little time with the, uh, the Viper there. It's <laughs> right there, just let him have that. And I'll continue on. No, Google. Sorry. Stick with the app, Google Goggles. Google Goggles is great because if mm -hmm. you're visiting somewhere and you see this big tall building, you're like, what's that building? Click. Yeah. And you're like, oh, it's the AT&T building in Nashville. Or give me the, 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 the space map that Android <laughs> has, but for some reason iOS doesn't have. Yeah. Well, iOS is working on a whole other map, but anyway. All right. One other thing. I thought this was kind of funny. Um, John Gruber of Daring Fireball, and I hate to bring this up because... Every news site hit it today immediately after the podcast went up. He was on a podcast talking about how Apple, in their labs, has a 7-inch iPad. Well, 7.85-inch iPad. So he's saying that, yeah, there's one in the works. So could we see an iPad mini in the future? It's a possibility. Could it end up on eBay as a prototype that never made it? Possibility. Could it be the next Newton? possibility <laughs> I'm just saying it's it's out there in the air now because every website that I saw today picked up on it so I figured we'd talk about it real quick do you think the 7 inch iPad would be a good idea yeah I do um, I was looking forward to maybe that being announced as well when they right. announced the new iPad is a smaller version right a little bit cheaper well it could be that they could even release with the new Apple TV which I saw an article today, which was the worst title ever, iPanel, for the TV. Are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? Just get rid of Apple TV, the puck, which unfortunately I just bought one and I hate that that would happen to get rid of that as soon as I buy it. But if, you know, go to the Apple TV. That's, that's what it is. You know, say Apple TV or iTV. If it is iTV, I'm not too keen on it, but Apple TV, I'm good with the name. So. Or like the Roku a uh, USB stick, stick yeah. that will maybe one day yeah. come out. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. But yeah, so rumor of the iPad mini still out there, still going to you know hit it hard until we see it or we don't see it or the rumors just fade off. But that's yeah. been the biggest someone says. you know. Otherwise, it's been coming from like DigiTimes and those Japanese websites and things like that. And it's like, well, they've already really... made, made it. Exactly. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of weird, but it's... The fact that John Gruber said it, I think, is the reason why everybody picked up on it. So, One last story. We wanted to keep it short this week. 
Yep. So if you got one of these, <laughs> a lot of people boast on how these can't get viruses. Well, they can. It's a computer. Exactly. People can get in. Um, you think you were saying today, earlier today is the reason why PCs get viruses all the time because everybody has a PC. If I need some credit card information, I'm going to put a Trojan on a, on a PC over a Mac any day. Right. But it's happened. It was called the, what the, flashback. Call the flashback Trojan. I was, I was putting Trojans in computers back in the 90s. <laughs> you had a simple EXE program. You were emailing people, and you were flipping their screens upside down, and you were opening their CD-ROMs. I could take whatever I wanted out of it. <laughs> but it's the same thing. Yeah. What it started was is that they created a flash, a program that looks like a flash update, looks just like what we get when we update our, our Macs or anything, you know? Right. Got this, always check your sources. Yeah, it's all got the same design and everything. And a reason why they chose Flash to get people to download this program, Apple stopped sending out Flash. Yeah. It's your fault. <laughs> you would have sent out Flash, people who needed Flash would have tried to download Flash, and they got flashed. <laughs> they got flashed. I love it. So yeah, like Rusty said, check your sources. Um, and there's ways to find out if you know you have it. You gotta check some command codes. I'll, we'll put a link up on how to do that. I'm not going through that whole, it's just a whole list of commands you gotta put in and check and see. And also check out CNET. They have the uh, best programs to download to get rid of it. Don't trust anyone else, uh, just go, go with CNET. But yeah, Macs can get viruses. Exactly, so for those of you Mac snobs, Sean, I'm looking at you if you're watching this, Dead gummits. You've always got something to say. But either way, we'd also like to thank our uh, new fan, Will Rocks. No, not, not Will Rocks, but we, I don't know. But either way. That guy. Exactly. We thank you for joining Welcome. as a fan. We greatly appreciate it. Make sure if you want to become a fan, you can follow us online multiple, multiple places. Oh, and j -Hubby. That Nokia is coming soon. Yes, it's, be, it's uh, scheduled to be here that. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, we weren't able to handhold it right here, right now. Um, because it's not going to be here till tomorrow. So I will have it tomorrow. Uh, I have some words about that and a personal article. I'm actually going to talk about that uh, based upon my you know, thoughts and musings and a lot of things that I've been reading over the past few days. People have some negative comments about it, and there's really no need to have negative comments about it. It's a new phone. But either way, that's fine. You can follow us online, textnation.tv. You can follow us on YouTube. Subscribe, youtube.com slash Text Nation TV. Add us, Facebook.com slash Text Nation TV. Follow us, Twitter, at Text Nation TV. And the final and the last one that we use just as much as Facebook, we'd love to add you into our circles, Google Plus. It's G Plus. Dot T-O slash Text Nation TV. There you go. I'm glad he remembered it because I sure as heck did. Make <laughs> sure you follow us online. We'll see you again for episode number 36, I believe it is. Yep. And thanks for watching.